Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to this very special video celebrating 50 years of the National Motor Museum. So new for 2022, I'm choosing just one vehicle from all of the cars on display to be my car of the show. And it was gonna go to this 1972 Honda Civic. It's actually chassis number three. So third one off the production line, and it is a vehicle that you would have seen in all the promo material from the time. It's immaculate, this thing, and a huge thank you to Honda UK for bringing it down to the show today. However, it was beaten by this Opel GT, which is yours and you've owned, well, you haven't owned it, but the family have owned it since it was three months old. Right. Tell me all about it. Dad got it in February 73, first registered November 72. So he's coming up for his 50th anniversary. Uh, initially it was bought actually for a director of Vauxhall's wife who didn't get on with it being left-hand drive and they offered it around the dealership. So my dad secured it through the local dealership in Swansea. This was his company car for the first few years. He used a surveyor. He used to put ladders in the back, in the bench, and go out on his surveys, and this was his uh, car, and it's been in the family since. Yeah. No way. And has it always been in this condition, or have you had to have it restored? Uh, it's had various bits of work done to it. The bodywork was done last in 2013, and I managed to source an original Opel engine back from Germany in 2014, 2015, and it's been back on the road looking like this since 2017. 
fantastic. And for that reason, it's my car of the show. Start motor and uh, well we've got a real collection of vehicles here I've been joined by Dave and also by Tom. Dave I'm going to start with you. Start motor tell me all about it. Uh, well Start motor is a charity we're based at Vista Heritage and our objective is to put the next generation in the driving seat so it's all about young people children exposing them to the world of classic cars and saying why don't you come along have a go attend the events and see what kind of a 3d world you can live in. So from the youngest we do schools fairs so in October, uh, we've got a thousand kids coming to Vista Heritage, year nines and year tens. They're going to go to presentations of ten different careers in the old car world, anything from media through to engineering and lots of things in between. Um, and uh, then as we go older, we support the career entry, uh, whether it's at university level, it's at academy level, um, whatever kind of training. So we support that with gear and uh, lots of um, uh, experiences. Ladies and gentlemen, could I ask you please to give a big Bewley welcome to Lord Montague of Bewley. Well that's really kind of you. Really it should be me, indeed it is me, thanking all of you for coming. I've been practicing for weeks. Um, how about, uh, you know, get out and get under? <laughs> no, I, I did learn the piano once, but I'm not going to try to play this keyboard today. Um, as I say, I, on behalf of all the trustees of the National Motor Museum Trust, thank you for coming and supporting this great uh, event, which is, you know, a bit of a trip down memory lane. I was at the opening of this motor museum uh, in July 1972, and one of the reasons I enjoyed it so much was that I got a day off from school. <laughs> in, in fact, the whole school came and were given Union Jacks to wave as His Royal Highness the Duke of Kent uh, proceeded down the central path with my father prior to the opening ceremony. And, um, you know, that moment when the museum was opened really was, I think, the proudest moment in my father's life. He had achieved so much in the 20 years since he first opened Beauty to visitors. And, you know, just 20 years after that first visitor came in, this is what he had achieved. And uh, one of the things that I have to remind myself and, and our visitors is that at that time, our exhibit spanned a period of about 80 years. So, you know, the first car might have been from the early 1890s. Well, now, of course, we're spanning a history of around 130 years. And so it goes on. And, of course, our collections have, as a result, expanded considerably. And a lot of those items, it's not just cars, it's books, it's photographs, it's films, it's automobilia. And much of the, many of those items are normally stored in our collection centre. But of course we want to share these with other people. And that has, in a way, been part of the inspiration for our new exhibition, A Story of Motoring in 50 Objects. And in a few minutes I will be formally declaring that open. But to, to turn back to what we have literally here in front of us, this great collection of cars from 19, well, the 1970s and particularly 1972, it, it really is like the Bewley car park of that era. And uh, uh, as I think you all know, we've, we've had some voting going on so that these two trophies can now be presented. Now the first one we're calling the People's Choice and that has been voted on by anyone, all of you who have come today. And I'm pleased to announce that the winner, which is here on my right, your left, is the 1972 Toyota Crown. So there is a second award. Now when this was planned, this was um, going to be my personal award, but um, knowing that I was going to have rather a lot to do today, I was persuaded to hand over responsibility uh, for the choice of car, 
which I was very pleased to do, to the Starter Motor Ambassadors, uh, who are from BISTA, and they're part of a charity to encourage younger people to get involved with the motoring movement. And they have chosen the, again, uh, on my right, your left, the Lotus Elan. Thanks so much for watching this video guys, I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, underneath this video you'll find a thumbs up. Hit that and right next to it there's a subscribe button. Hit that and you'll get a new video from me every week. Coming up next are the highlights from the Stow on the Wold Motor Show. And if you like your classic Fords, well coming up after that is the highlights from the old Ford Rally. So if you hit subscribe you get both of those videos in the next two weeks. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video guys. I'll see you again soon.